G'day, g'day everyone. This week we have been busy, busy, busy up the very back of the yard in the pool area. We've been flat out like a lizard drinking. Now the summers here get ridiculously hot. Um, if I convert it over to Fahrenheit in the US, we get as high as 120 Fahrenheit temps and it's not uncommon to get 100% humidity either, so massively hot days. And the old farmhouse we're in hasn't got an air conditioner, so it's really important for us to have a place to cool down, especially for the kids when they come home from school, a pool they can jump into. So we've got this big pool here on um, Afterpay. So we've got that this year on Afterpay, as I said, that's a bit like layaway, but it's online. So they send it out to you first and then they deduct a certain amount out of your pay every couple of weeks. So it's just like layaway, except you get the item first. So we get to pay the pool off. The pavers were already here. The landlord bought those and there was just a big stack of them in the yard. So I've put all them to use. The plants, most of these plants I've grown from cuttings and our biggest expense so far has been the sand for the base. Um, I had to put a good base down for the pool to make sure it was all level and I got that delivered from the landscape place in town for a um, hundred bucks worth of sand. So we've got all the good river sand or bedding sand, put that down and got the pool on that. I also use that as a base to do the paving. This is the area we're working on at the moment. This is the pool area. Greg's just framing up for the pool. The pool will fit in that area. It's 15 foot. So we're just waiting on a load of sand to be delivered. And diesel is hot. Hunter diesel. So we're going to be working on this area today for trying to finish it off before the sand arrives. We did a fair bit yesterday. Yesterday we got in and did a couple of hours worth in the afternoon starting to set up the boxing. That's the boards around the outside and then I've got to set them to the right height so all we have to do is fill the sand up to the top of them and it's level. So i just got to take a little bit of mucking around to make sure the boards are level and then just put the sand in and fix up the shade cliff roof because we'd like to have it shaded because Queensland is um, a huge super duper duper hot and huge t statistics of uh, skin cancers so you have to slip slop slap and have cover on all the time slip on a shirt slap on sunscreen and slop on a hat slip slop slap in the summer this summer, say, a slip slop slap. Can't wait till there's a pool here and I can just jump in and cool off. It's going to be awesome. Woo! We're getting a pool! We're getting a pool! We're getting a pool! Beautiful. That's going to be me in one week. Hey. 
Hey yo baby. This is what they call coarse sand or setting sand or even river sand. It's nowhere near as fine as the normal sand pit sand or beach sand. Um, but it's good for laying pavers on and for putting pools on. And that's what we're going to be doing. Still got to fix up the gardens yet. I'll tidy them up and do them a bit better. That's a homemade fountain I'm doing. I'll show you how that works next time. That's a bird of paradise flower behind that. That bird of paradise flower came from um, the dump just in the big green pile where someone had dug it out of their yard and thrown it out and I brought it home and put it in the ground and rescued it and that's how good it's come. Crazy. That's the old deck and I've just thrown some Irish moss or grandfather's whiskers on there. On the other side of the bamboo wall there is the chicken pen. This is the pool that got delivered. And hopefully that'll be us within a week. All of us in there swimming, playing. Now it's 15 foot across. And how deep? 1.5, I mean... 42 inches. 42 inches deep. Now, that's the picture. Let's see how close we got it. Let's see if it looks like that in the back area. We've now got the pool in and up. And Grant's been paving. Take you for a walk. It's going to be one garden, another garden over here. And Grant and Gus working together. Both doing an amazing job. I found these two footprint pavers up under the house. I've, there was only two, so I put them at the gate. I had a pot full of hippie astrums that originally came from a green waste centre where they, someone just dumped them out their garden. So I've got hippie astrums there, hopefully they flower for me. And it's just been a lot of sweat and hard work more than anything. Especially putting the pavers down. The pavers have taken a while but geez they look good. I'm really happy with how nice they've turned out. And Colette and Gus have been helping me with that. So we've all done these pavers. They look beautiful. Then a couple of odd shaped hexagon pavers. So I put them on the corner. I'm going to put the ladder on them. Right, that'll be the ladder. This is my shady little corner over in the pool area. Over the back where I'm a bit hidden away. I'll hide up here from Colette, I think. Oh, this lovely garden behind me. Most of these plants have been either things other people have thrown away or I've taken cuttings out of other people's gardens. Some of them I've grown from little tiny things like this. Um, I've always had a little bit of a green thumb, so plants aren't any problem for me to grow. Seems easy to me. Okay, I've got plenty of plants around just to make it like our little oasis up here.
a lot of these little plants just started out as one plant and they just keep growing and spreading so I just keep potting them up into different pots and I end up with half a dozen plants instead of one. Also, I call this grandfather's whiskers. Some people call it Irish moss. I think it's really popular in the southern states in America. I've seen it a lot in swamplands and in um, old southern homesteads on movies. What do you call it over there? Tell me what you call them. That'd be cool. Just in the comments below. But we call them either grandfather's whiskers or old man's whiskers. And I've also heard it called Irish moss. So, nice air plants. You just have to give them a sprinkle every couple of days. Just a little bit of moisture in the air. Because we've got good humidity here in Queensland. I think that's why they grow in the south too. Because it's more humid in America. In the southern states. Got to finish this garden off. It's one of the last things to do up here. And I'm also working on building a fountain. There's a, a big pot under there. I've got a, a little pump in it that I just salvaged out of a junkyard and fixed it up with silicon so it's more watertight. An old shower head, a couple of plastic pipes. So, so far that's cost me just about nothing, that fountain. I just got to fix up a couple of leaks and get that going. The landlord's got a big pile of bark down in the paddock so I've just been bringing that up for the garden. And that's the only area left to do up there. And the table's in the garden at the moment. <laughs> been a lot of hard work this week but it's been worth it it's coming along so nice it's going to be good up here in these warm months we're going to need it it's been a big big week but it's looking real good okay thank you very much don't forget if you like the video leave a thumbs up if you want to comment I'd love to hear from you and for more videos or trivia nights live streams make sure you hit that bell for notification don't forget everyone Make sure you take time to enjoy the simple things in life. Family, friends, smiles, plants, animals, it's all around. All you've got to do is take time to enjoy it. Bye.